All right, we got hole number one here, par three. We're gonna play this one at plus 15 for our elevation. We're gonna go with a sniper here, and we're gonna be playing this about mid distance. Um, we're gonna be playing with about one and a half bars of top spin, and we're gonna be aiming this ball uh, to the hole just off the left edge of the hole. So we're really trying to find the funnel for this shot and you're going to have about half of your clear ring in the bunker uh, when you do actually find that funnel. All right, so four and a half is going to be 4.7 rings of movement here. Rolling with one, one and a half top spin here. And when we find this funnel, it's going to be We can find it. There it is. Alright. So 4.7 for our ring movement. And we just need to hit this one perfect. Give it a good shot. We do. And let's see where this one comes in. We're looking at that second bounce. Oh, it's a little bit maybe. Oh, I think we might have got it. Get in the hole get in the hole baby there we go so it's, it's difficult to find that funnel and it's worth it's worth the effort to take your time to find it because once you find it you know you hit the perfect shot it's gonna most likely drop or be really close to the hole so you know I just encourage you to kind of take your time to find it and just kind of know what type of time you need to be able to adjust your shot and hit the perfect shot so you know really that comes down to your style of play and what you're comfortable with. So hopefully you all can uh, also hit this shot. All right, good luck. All right, so we got 7.3 wind here, which is gonna be 3.5 rings. We're gonna go with max left spin and one bar top spin here on this shot. We're gonna go with our yellow ring along the edge of the rough line here. And then we're going to make our adjustment here, 3.5 rings, and then we're going to push up one ring on our shot. We're going to use our max amount of curl here. And we'll see how this one comes in, if we have enough topspin, or we can go with more topspin than we used here. That looks pretty close and pretty good right there. So one bar of topspin is good for this shot and if you don't want to risk that then you know you could play the shot without pushing up I would say um, or go with a little bit less top spin and play the push up but I think one one ring of push up is pretty good here for this shot with an extra mile level six like we have so if you have something a little bit different than that or higher than that then that may be uh, the way to go all right, so for our second shot here, we're going to play the second shot at 0% here. We got 5.2. So let's see what we have. We're going to go with um, just a little bit of top spin here. About one top spin. And we want this shot to come in just left the pin. So one, it's about three rings. So we're going to adjust this one, 5.1, and then we're going to push up three rings on the shot. And we're just going to play this one regular here and see how this one comes in. Perfect hit. We did off just a little bit to the left. This one's coming in nicely. Not too bad of an attempt right there. So a little bit more offset to the left to play for that push for the wind. And um, this one's done. All right, we got hole number two here, par five. We'll play this one with the extra mile and our sniper. We're gonna play this one with a power three um, kingmaker ball. And we're playing it to the left side. So we're gonna start out playing with a 10% adjustment on the drive. And uh, we'll talk our way through that and we'll get to our second shot.
All right, so here we go for our, our drive. We have 5.3, which is going to be about 2.9 rings of, uh, of adjustment for our wind. We're going to go full left spin, and we're going to go with, I'm going to go with one top spin here. We're going to go with one top spin here. And it doesn't look like we're going to have to push up on our shot at all when we make our adjustment for the wind. So 5.3 will be just under two, three rings. But we are going to use left curl on this shot. And if you're losing a little bit lower level extra mile, then you know you may want to push up on your drive to get that ball to uh, get a little bit farther up the fairway. But as you can see, you know my second bounce was was well over that bunker um, on my drive. So that tells me you know I didn't really need to push up. If you get to the point where you're setting up your drive and you have to push into overpower in order to see that second bounce past the bunker, that's when you know you're going to need to push up. And uh, you know, even if you're right there on the edge, then you may want to push up like maybe a half a ring, just to be safe, because you know this this hole does come down to the drive, um, and if you don't get the drive, then you're in trouble. So for the second shot, we're going to be playing zero percent with our sniper here, and let's see what we can do here. We got four point five, which is going to be max. So we're going to be playing four point five rings of adjustment. Um, you know, we can go, we're gonna go with just a little bit of top spin here. About one and seven seven one point seven five top spin. We are gonna line this shot up left to the hole, about one about one grid left of the hole. And now we'll make our adjustment four point five rings. And we're gonna try to hit a perfect here so we can see what this one looks like. We do. So let's see what this one comes in like with um, left of the hole, one grid left of the hole. Whew, that was really close. So as you can see, you know, playing the offset here on this shot definitely is needed. And you know, finding a spot in the fairway where the ball does not, where the ball guy doesn't move a lot or jump when you move it left and right is also, you know, pretty pretty significant and if you go back and watch my shot when I moved my ball guide around a little bit at that end you know the ball guide wasn't moving it was staying pretty consistent so that tells me I have a very consistent bounce spot so definitely you know judge that top spin as you can see you know it rolled in quite nicely and um, just make sure you hit that offset and I think you can drop this shot this is definitely a very albatrossable uh, hole in my opinion so anyways good luck to you all we'll catch you all in the next hole All right, we got hole three here, par four. We're gonna play this one with the quarterback and a navigator ball. You wanna have at least four bars of top spin to play this shot. If you don't have that with your driver, then you may wanna consider using an extra mile or even maybe a Thor uh, for this shot. We are playing the shot where we bounce it over the, the bunker and hit the rough and then roll out. There is also a shot uh, that you can play with a little bit higher level clubs, like higher level Thor or extra mile that have a good amount of backspin that you can actually curl the shot off the fairway towards the green as well. I think the way that we're going to play it though is going to be the most consistent way uh, that you've seen played um, by a majority of the players in the game. And it gives you a chance to go aggressively at the shot as well if you want to try to go for uh, for the ace. So we're going to go with a max top spin. I'm going to go with one, well two bars of right spin here. And we are going to be aiming our shot here with the um, ball guide here in the snow, as you can see, with the ball guide just poking out into the rough, I mean into the uh, fairway and towards the green. We're going to play a one-to-one -one here. So 5.8 rings here is going to be our adjustment. And then we just need to hit a perfect shot here. Great left. Let's see how great proof this shot is with a great left. And it's great proof. So that's going to roll us there on to the edge. And that will set us up for a very easy little chip for the eagle. Definitely a must eagle hole in my opinion. 
and uh, you know whatever way you decide to play it, whether it's the um, extra mile or the quarterback. So if you play with the quarterback, it's a one to one. If you play with the extra mile, you're playing plus ten percent um, for your adjustment, and you're pretty much playing it pretty much at probably about min distance. Uh, so definitely, you know, check that distance. You know whether or not you're in min or mid for your club with the extra mile, and then uh, set it up and, and go from there. But this is definitely a hole that you should be able to drop. I think the quarterback gives you the best chance to do it on a consistent basis just because of its accuracy uh, and just the easiness of the uh, of the hole using that club. As you saw, I was great left, and I was still in good position for uh, my eagle attempt. So, All right, we got hole three here, par four. We did the rough bump on the first example. We're going to try to play the shot to the left-hand side with an extra mile eight. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use a Kingmaker here. May have to go up to um, a Titan. Play plus 10% here. And one right, three rings of adjustment. No, we'll go with the uh, Kingmaker, it would be okay. We're gonna go with the max right spin and max back spin on this shot. And uh, hopefully we have the back spin that we need to make this one shot stop. So we wanted to drop it right about in there. So 5.4 rings is our gonna be our, um, 5.4 wind is three rings. So we're gonna push up here and then we're gonna go three rings back to about right there. Max right curl. And we hit that one perfect. We're gonna see if this backspin is enough to stop this ball close on the green. And it looks like it should be okay. It's gonna put us right there on the fringe, and that's gonna be a very easy makeable chip right there for the eagle. So, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna net you uh, an ace. You know, if you want to go for the ace, you better have something with a little bit more backspin than the than the extra mile eight. You know, so if you have like a little bit higher level Thor. Um, then you may actually have a good chance at maybe dropping the ace on the hole that way. But that's definitely a very safe way uh, to play that hole. All right, we got hole three here, par four. We're going to try to play uh, a Thor shot to the left-hand side. And we're going to be using um, a power four ball, just because I think we need the extra distance on this club. If you have an extra mile eight, as you saw in my, uh, my last video, it is doable with the extra mile eight to the left, but then you also always have the shot where you jump over the bunker with the, um, the quarterback as well. But if you have a Thor level four at least, I think it has the backspin that you need to play the shot to the left, and that's if you don't have an extra mile eight. Um, you know, if you have an eight, I would definitely recommend this shot over a Thor four. Uh, just because of the extra distance that you have on the club and you can play the shot with a kingmaker ball. So let's see what we can do here. Play a plus 10% on the uh, on the drive. And let's see if we can make this shot. So 6.8 wind is going to be 4.6 rings. So we're going max back spin and as much right spin as we can. We want this shot to land right about there. So 4.6 rings. We're going to turn our screen this way. We're going to pull our shot to our landing zone. And then we're going to just eyeball our 4.6 rings, which is going to be right about in there. So for here, we're going to go with our full amount of curl to the left. And here we go. Let's see if it works. Comes in nicely. It hits pretty good. Pretty much right where we want it to hit. And yeah, I would say it works. Uh, so, you know, the Thor 4, great choice of club for this hole. And uh, it has just about the right amount of curl for the shot. And, you know, came really close to dropping that. And, you know, I think any of the shots really do work. Um, EM8, Thor 4, quarterback, it all just comes down to your style of play. And what you really feel most comfortable with, honestly, I think the shot to the left with, like, the Thor or the extra mile 8 is probably the most consistent shot um, for this hole and uh, you know but it's probably not the most aceable shot I still want to say the quarterback shot where you bump it to the hole is going to be your best chance at the ace just because of that ball guide uh, and that more straight path to the hole so good luck to you all we'll see you all on hole number four
All right, we got hole four here. Uh, this is a par three. We're going to play this one with plus 10% for the elevation. I'm going to be playing with the quarterback and a kingmaker ball. And I'm going to be playing actually a one to one plus 0.1 for this adjustment here. But if you play with you know a different type of club or you play a different type of shot, it's a plus 10% for the elevation. So we're going to play three down, max left spin. And we're going to see if we can uh, we can figure this one out and get the ace. All right. So max left spin, three bars of back spin here. We want to get that ball guide pointing, uh, you know, pretty good to the hole, right about there is where we're going to play it. And then we're going to make our adjustment, which is going to be 4.8 rings. A bit high there. There we go. Perfect hit would be nice. All right. So let's see how this one comes in. And it looks like a little bit short but it was really close and really online, so just a little bit more with that ball guide through the hole, and I think we can get this one to drop. So really encouraged by that, uh, that look, and uh, we just need to go with a little bit more um, through the hole, or maybe a little bit off of the, of the backspin, so maybe like 2.75 backspin and max left spin uh, could be another possibility. Uh, if you don't want to, you know, keep pushing that ball farther to the edge of that rough line. All right, well, we'll move on to hole number five. All right, we got hole five here, par four. We'll play a plus 10% on the drive here, and we're going to probably play this shot to the right-hand side because of the wind that we have here in the pro this time around. You know, you could try to play this shot to the left-hand side, but you're going to need to use um, probably... Uh, a higher level ball, possibly a ball with some wind resistance as well, and you're going to have to overpower your shot quite a bit. So we're just going to go with uh, four top spin here, and we're just going to play this shot um, down this fairway and set up a shot um, with our uh, Guardian. So I'm going to play the shot over here to the left-hand side of this fairway. So 6.9 is going to be 3.2 rings of adjustment with the shot here. Great right, won't help out our positioning, but we'll still be okay. So my, my reason for saying we wanted to be more left on this fairway is just to give us a little bit maybe of a better angle to the hole uh, for our second shot, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll be okay from this position. So for our second shot here, we're going to be playing 0%. We have 6.6 .6 for our wind. And, all right, we have enough room to play this shot. So we're going to go with max backspin and as much right spin as we can get here. As you see, we can't really get a very good look at this hole from the looks of it. So we're just gonna have to play this one, uh, play this one safe. So we'll play 4.7 rings. And we'll put a little bit of right curl on it. And we'll see how this one comes in. Using the max backspin with the Guardian. And, ooh, we got pretty close on it actually. Not too bad of a try right there. And that's going to be the best way to try to get this shot is just using that backspin and just hoping that, you know, you catch that heel correctly. Um, you know, maybe we can find a point where we can, you know, really kind of tune that shot in, but it's going to be tough. And I think, you know, we just really want to try to get to that point where we have a chance at it. Um, you know, the rough bump here is going to be just so hard to control coming off this um, out of this rough. The, the downhill nature of the green just makes this shot so quick. And, you know, 
even if it was to hit the hole, it was probably bounce right out of the hole. We're we'll hanging around here and see this shot and see what it looks like here from my opponent. But I just don't, uh, I don't see any possibility of dropping this shot except, you know, for someone that gets just ultra lucky. But I could be wrong. All right, well, not worst case scenario there. He didn't get stay in the rough, but um, definitely not what he was looking for. All right, we got hole six here, par five. Going to go with this with extra mile and a sniper. I'm using a katana ball. You may want to consider going with a kingmaker if you have lower level clubs and you need that extra power, especially for the second shot. I'm going to play this one at plus 20%. Um, the 7.5 miles per hour will be 4.4 rings of adjustment here. So we're going max right spin and four and a half bars of top spin here for this shot. We're going to put a uh, half, we're going to put um, about three quarters of our red ring in the rough line here. And then we're going to make our adjustment of 4.4 rings for our 7.5 wind. And then we're going to take our shot. We're going to use about um, half a ball of right curl on this shot. You could use a little bit more right curl if you have it on your driver and it'll be okay. But, you know, we're just trying to stay as far to the right as we can and that's about as perfect as you get. So scratch what I said about more curl. Go with a half a ball of right curl to be safe. <laughs> and uh, you'll be set up nicely. You don't want to go too far to the left. You don't want to go too far up the fairway because you don't want to deal with those trees uh, for your second shot. Okay, for the second shot here, we're playing a 0% with the sniper. And, um, you know, we're playing this one at max distance, as you can see. It'd be nice to be a little bit farther up the fairway than we are. We're going to go with max right spin and no top spin whatsoever. We're going to play this shot right about right there. And then we're going to go back 5.3 rings. So we're just going to eyeball this one 5.3 rings back to right about there. And we're not going to use any curl here. Just try to hit this one perfect. Hopefully the extended ball guide is going to do its thing, which it does. And that one's going to roll very nicely down there to the hole. And that's what we call a gimme eagle. So you can get a little bit more aggressive if you want. Um, I would say if you're able to aim your, your ball guide at the top part of that um, ridge on the second shot, then I would get a little more aggressive. Maybe full right spin and one back spin. Try to aim that shot a little bit more at the hole with the ball guide. But if you see that your shot's having to go into overpower to get to that spot location like I did on that shot, then I would not suggest getting ultra aggressive and trying to, to make something special happen because that's when you hit the rough and you end up with the chip of death. <laughs> Which, when I say chip of death, I'm talking about the chip at the top edge of that green, <laughs> trying, to put, trying to chip it down to the hole. That is what I refer to as the chip of death. So anyways, good luck to you all in this hole. Hopefully you all can get the albatross. All right, we got hole seven here, par three. We'll play this one at plus 20% with the sniper and kingmaker. And we're gonna play about uh, five backspin, max left spin. We'll play the shot at medium distance. And we're playing the shot from the right side because we have a right to left tailwind. So that means you wanna play the shot off the right island and not the left island. Uh, you could also try a sand bump here on this hole and you would probably use a club like the Horizon to do so. But we're gonna be trying to hit a perfect on the sniper shot, which we had not been able to do yet. So I'd love to see what a perfect looks like. So like I said, it's plus 20%. We're playing this one at mid, and we're gonna play with um, Max left and five backspin here. We're going to set this ball guide up. So the blue ring is on the edge of the rough line. 
and the end of the ball guide was right there at the edge of that left green square, that line of squares. So 6.2 is our ring adjustment here. And all we need to do is hit a perfect here. We finally hit a perfect on this shot, so let's see how it comes in. Pretty close, um, pretty close. So what we need to do is aim the edge of that ball guide, not to the left-hand edge of that line of green squares. So what we need to do there is, you know, instead of having the edge of that ball guide at the left edge of that line of green squares like where we had it, we would just take the shot and I think just move it up that line of green squares just a little bit, maybe like one or two squares up, uh, and then try it from there. And, you know, from there, we would just keep making adjustments on that shot uh, based on the results that we just saw there. All right, we got hole number eight here, par four. We're going to go with this one with the extra mile and a berserker ball just to give us a little bit more ease of, uh, of use on the hole. And uh, it just it causes you to not have to ever overpower your shot as much as you would need to with like a, a power three or a power four ball. So we'll play a plus fifteen percent on this drive, and um, you know we're gonna have to to push up our shot. Then we'll have to adjust for the wind, and then we'll have to push up the shot back to max, and kind of see how many rings we lack, uh, and that's gonna tell us kind of how many rings we need to overpower the shot. To have a you know have a decent chance at the uh, at getting the ball where we need to for the eagle. So let's see what we have here to work with. Six point eight is going to be four point one. Um, we're going to go with max top spin and four bars of left spin as well. We want the shot to bounce right about in there. So I am three rings into overpower from that position. So we're going to adjust our shot, and then we're going to push up and see how many rings over power we need to add uh, to our shot. So we need to add about two rings over power to our shot. And I did hit great left, but I think I'm okay. I had my, my shot aimed more to the right just in case I hit great left. And there we go. So that's how it goes. Perfect shot would have been pretty close to uh, a lot more in line with the uh, with the pin, most likely. Now, if you have lower level, extra mile, uh, like a seven or a six, then the only thing that's gonna change differently with the shot will be the, the added rings of overpower to your shot. Um, but I would definitely stick with that formula where you uh, apply your top spin and left spin and see how many rings of overpower you need to get to your spot. Um, and then you adjust your shot, you, find, you push back up, and then from there you figure out how many rings of overpower you need to play for your actual shot. And that's how I would attack this hole um, if you're playing it to the right hand side. If you're gonna play it to the left hand side, then as you see my opponent here played a perfect drive and he's gonna have a nice little uh, short iron with the thorn or hornet shot to the hole. All right, we got hole number nine here, par five. We'll be playing this one with our extra mile. And we're gonna look at this shot with a sniper for the second shot. You know, you can go with a little bit higher level of a wood for sure. If you're not comfortable with, uh, you know, with the drive, I may suggest bringing along the big dog just to make sure that you do get the eagle. But if you wanna go for the uh, albatross, then, you know, I think the sniper is definitely gonna be the way to play this one but it will require a drive up the fairway. So for the reason that, that reason, I'm gonna go with the um, power four ball, and you know hopefully we can, we can make something happen here. So we're gonna go max top spin here. I'm not gonna go with any spin left or to the right. Just gonna go right up this fairway here, and then we're going to adjust and then push up. So about two miles per hour per ring. We're gonna go three and a half rings here. And then we're going to push the shot up with a straight in a straight line. And I am going to use uh, some overpower on this shot. I didn't use full beans overpower, but we did use um, a decent amount of overpower. 
and as you see we get uh, you know we get to a nice little spot up that fairway and I think we'll be in a, a good position there for our second shot with our sniper. The drive was plus 10% if you were wondering. All right, so for our second shot here, with the sniper, we're playing it at 0%. As you see, I am, you know, I could really have used a little bit more distance on that shot. So we're going to go with um, three and a half topspin from this location, with that ball guy just kind of getting onto the, uh, the surface of the green. And then we're going to make our adjustment for 7.5, which will be... Uh, 7.6 rings. We're going to put just a little bit of curl on the shot here. And hopefully this will get us up to where we want to be. And right there, not a bad attempt right there. It's going to be tough to really drop an albatross from that location. I think the albatross lies, you know, if you can get your drive a lot farther up that fairway, which would require a complete overpower shot, and uh, you know maybe even a little bit higher level of a of a ball, but um, you know power four ball could get up there if I had gone completely fully overpower uh, to try to make that shot. But I value accuracy more than I do power because if you don't stay on the fairway, then you're you're in trouble no matter what. So we got the putt, and we will be ending our round right here. Thank you all very much for joining me for this pro playthrough. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and uh, good luck to you all in the tournament.